First of all, how are you feeling ahead of this one going in? Feeling great, feeling great, man. Can't wait for Saturday. So we're back at welterweight for this fight. I'm curious, how did you make that decision and, and why did you want to move back to 170? Man, uh, I moved back to Brazil and uh, I decided to, to go back to lightweight. It's not easy for me. Uh, and then I have my last loss against Fiziv and um, yeah, man, I had my last title run on that division, you know. Um, looking to fight uh, the comfortable weight for me right now. Um, before that fight, uh, you see I fought Moicano. I was scheduled to fight uh, Fiziv in February and then I fought Moicano and they put that match up with Fiziv in July again because nobody want to fight Fiziv. And I was the only guy that accepted. And uh, uh, because, man, because of these rankings, that, that, that top five little club, they don't want to, they just want to fight between them. And, uh, and then I have to take the fight with Fiziv again and I, I lost the fight. I said, hey man, uh, you can't take me out of the rankings and uh, I'll fight the Walter Wade. So do you think you're done with lightweight, or do you think maybe if the, that top five kind of opens up, you'll move back down and try and get in there? I mean, just for, you know, some very spe specific fights that I have in mind, I'll do that again. But, yeah, uh, I don't have plans to win the title in that division anymore. I'll be honest with you. Uh, but, like, a couple guys that uh, uh, if it is in a good momentum for me, on my, you know, my personal life as well. I'll take the fight, but yeah, as of now, I have Brian Barberina this Saturday, and uh, I'm saying I'll water weight. Last one on lightweight. Will it be sad for you if you never got the Islam Makashev fight? I know that was one that you wanted forever, and it never came to pass. Would it be sad for you to retire without that one one day? Uh, no, not really. Uh, uh, we were scheduled to fight a couple times, but. I got injured, he pulled, up on, uh, pulled out on fight week as well, and uh, the, uh, we had a chance to fight uh, uh, Walter Wade. He threw his name out there. I accept the fight, he, he didn't took it, and Moicano took it, but you know, I, I wouldn't be sad. What do you think of Brian Barberino as your, your first fight back at Walter Wade? You happy with this guy as an opponent? What do you think of him and his skills? Yeah, he's, you know, I'm happy with that matchup. He's coming on three winning streak. Uh, 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 he's a guy that fights forward, and uh, he's a type of fight that I like. Uh, being three rounds, I think in my last eight fights, seven of them was five rounds, if I'm not wrong. So it was good, a little break too, fighting th three rounds. Uh, the preparation's a little easier too. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that matchup. Yeah. He's known for getting into wars and having these crazy back and forth fights. Is that something you can be excited about? Or do you think, no, no, I'm going to show him that I don't get into wars, I can just be dominant and beat him? Yeah, uh, uh, I think getting to get into wars is part of it. You know, like, once we start fighting, the instinct, in instincts comes and uh, we just, like, fight. And... Uh, but he's a guy that have a lot of win, a will to, to win, and uh, I do so. And it'll be a great matchup for the fans. Obviously, you have to get past him on Saturday, but are you already looking at some of those big names at welterweight and thinking, oh, I can match up against this guy very well and that guy very well? I mean, I'm a former title challenger on that division. You know, I fought the best guys on the division, and I went distance. Uh, I think I reached the, this stage of my career that I can be very relevant in two divisions. If I fight a lightweight, I'm relevant. People want to watch it. If I fight a waterweight, uh, I'm a big name of waterweight as well. But uh, uh, of course, man, you know, I fight to win. Uh, but I have, I have a challenge, you know, a tough guy ahead of me on Saturday. We'll see what comes next. Connor's fighting at 170. Uh, uh, I think I don't see he fight, he's fighting at 155 uh, anymore. But we'll see. That, that, that's the, the fight that, that makes sense, too. We'll see what happens. So it's names like Connor, maybe Masvidal, Hamza, those bigger names that you're interested in? Yeah, definitely. Guys that, that, that have a lot to bring to the table. Guys that have been there before. Uh, I think uh, being a former champion, uh, I think, you know, like 
been, you know, so long on the company, looking for, you know, for guys that make sense to me, you know, like guys with a lot of fights too and legends of the sport. And I think that's what I'm looking for. Thank you. You're welcome. Rafael, tudo bom, cara? Beleza. É, falar um pouquinho do que você acabou de falar com eles em inglês, é, da sua, fala um pouquinho da sua subida de, de categoria e, e, e explica um pouquinho do que você acabou de falar, de fazer lutas que fazem sentido, ou nos leves, ou nos, nos meios pesados. Eu, eu acho isso bem legal. Só desenrola isso um pouquinho Beleza, em português para a galera. É, o que eu estava falando era que... Eu dei o, dei o meu melhor ali no, na categoria do, do leve e, infelizmente, eu lutei com... com era tava marcado para lutar com o Fiziev em fevereiro. É, ele ele macho, ele pegou Covid e o, o Moicano entrou. E eles casaram de novo essa luta com o Fiziev em julho. Ou seja, ninguém queria lutar com o cara e ninguém queria lutar comigo também. Então, essa, esse top esse top 5 ali, esse clubezinho do top 5, os caras só lutam entre eles. E, cara, eu perdi a luta, é, eu perdi a luta, e, assim, a minha corrida pelo cinturão nessa divisão, eu acho que se encerrou ali. É, eu acho, sendo ex-campeão, uma oportunidade legal pode aparecer, algum nome legal no peso leve, eu voltaria para o peso leve, se fosse uma luta que me agradasse. É, agora, eu estou no, no, no meio pesado, eu acho que eu sou um cara relevante em duas categorias, é, eu já lutei com os melhores do peso leve, já fui campeão, já lutei pelo cinturão no peso de cima, então, eu acho que nesse ponto da minha carreira que eu atingi, eu estou relevante, eu sou relevante em duas categorias, a categoria que eu lutar, leve ou, me, ou, ou meio médio, eu vou estar, as pessoas vão querer ver, vão, vão ter é, nomes grandes para lutar comigo, e eu vou, eu estou tomando vantagem disso. Eu acho que eu tenho treinado forte, tenho treinado mais pesado e treinado bem. É, e no momento eu vou ficar no peso dos 77 quilos agora, mas vamos ver o que pode acontecer aí para frente. É, se tiver uma luta que me agrade, uma luta nos 70 quilos, de repente, eu, eu até voltaria a fazer lutas específicas assim, né? Mas agora eu estou nos 77 quilos e vamos ver o que pode acontecer. Eu tenho um desafio grande sábado agora e, e vamos ver. Está nas mãos de Deus. Obrigado. Nada.